Tiger TV Studios in the heart of Auburn High School, this is AHS Today with Sydney Pignato and Celeste Smith. Good morning, Auburn High School. It's Thursday, February 28th, a white day. I'm Sydney Pignato. And I'm Celeste Smith, and this is AHS Today. Teachers, please remember to post attendance. Now, let's take a look at what's for lunch. Okay. Hello, man. Uh, so. Hey, don't touch my partner and don't touch my school ones. Cause it's a pizza, it could be spaghetti, ham and cheese, hot wings. Tryouts for varsity and JV volleyball will be held March 11th through the 14th in the new gym. Anyone wanting to try out will need all forms complete before Monday, March 11th. If you do not have the forms, you will not be permitted to try out. The forms are located in the athletic office or online. Fill out the paperwork and turn it back into the athletic office. A sign-up sheet will be located in Coach Vaughn's office. If you have any questions, please email Coach Cooper at cecooper at auburnschools.org. Now let's take a look at today's weather with Shambria Stoll. Good morning, Auburn High School. Today's weather is sunny with a high of 56 and a low of 32 and a 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow's weather is going to be a high of 51 and a low of 33 with a 0% chance of rain. Remember, you can check out the weather anytime by logging onto the Moodle page. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sham. In news today, prom committee will meet today after school in Miss Stevens' room, 508, from 320 to 4 p.m. All are welcome. Now let's take a look at the grad exam. I don't really know anything about the new grad exam policy. All I know is that juniors don't get to come in late anymore, and that's kind of frustrating. I don't really know anything about it except that we don't have to take the grad exam. I know that uh, all the juniors had to take the grad exam, and now the upcoming sophomores don't, and that kind of stinks. I like the grad exams better because uh, they're a lot easier, and you get to miss half a day of school as a junior and senior. Um, I just know that we don't have to take them, and I'm glad. Well, I've heard that end of course exams are pretty tough, so I'm thankful that I get to take, you know, the grad exams because they're kind of easy. I'd rather take the grad exams because the end of course tests are harder and they count for your grade, and also we don't get to come in late when we're juniors or seniors. I don't really know much about the grad exam. The State Department of Education is phasing out the Alabama High School graduation exam so that this current year's juniors are the last class that have to take and pass portions of the grad exam to receive a high school diploma. So 10th um, graders and grades below that do not have to take the graduation exam as a part of their requirements for graduation. However, current seniors and juniors still have to take and pass the grad exam. The State Department of Education has mandatory assessments at every grade level. Um, up until this time it has been the grad exam. So as they phased out the grad exam, current juniors and seniors continue to take it, it's being end of course tests are being phased in. This year we've given end of course tests in Algebra 1, Geometry, and English 10. So that Geometry and English 10 gets primarily the majority of your 10th graders. So while the um, 10th graders don't have to take the grad exam, they will more than likely have to take at least one, if not more, end of course test. This year the end of course tests do not affect a student's grade. There have been proposals put out on the table, again, the State Board of Education um, making the proposal that perhaps, and again, this is all just conjecture at this point because we do not have any definitive guidelines, um, but the original proposal was that an end of course test would count 20% of a student's overall grade in that class. Essentially, it would take the place of a final exam, if you would. Thanks, guys. Attention students, a quick reminder about our dress code policy. Pants should be worn at the waist level. Pants that are too tight, have holes, or allow for exposure of undergarments are not permitted. Baggy or loose fitting pants should be worn with a belt. Tiger TV would like to wish a very happy birthday to Mrs. Hutchinson. Thanks for tuning in. That's AHS Today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and observe a moment of silence. 